Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and children of all ages. Today, we're going to be doing another fantasy baseball video talking about another pretty shallow position in shortstop because once you get through the first few guys, there's not really much and there's not really much for sleepers here in shortstop either. Although there are some good guys later down, but we're going to talk about all these guys and more today in this episode of the fantasy baseball stuff. So we're going to jump right into it. So they have number one shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. I can't really say that I disagree with this too much because Hanley Ramirez is a guy that's going to do pretty well. He did miss quite a few games in the past few seasons, but he is going to get a lot of hits and stuff. And if he does play a full season this year, expect him to get probably around 30 home runs, 20 stolen bases, maybe even 100 RBIs. And Hanley Ramirez, though he is a pretty risky pick, he is a definite choice for the number one shortstop coming out of this year's draft. Next up is Troy Tulowitzki, a guy that I really would like to draft. Uh, 31 home run projection this year, and when you're playing in uh, Colorado, when you're playing Rocky Mountains, 30, 30 home, 31 home runs is definitely an attainable thing, even for a shortstop. 305 average, only 5 stolen bases, but probably around 100 RBIs. Tulowitzki gives really does give Hanley Ramirez a run for his money. Both, though, come with significant injury risk. Probably Tulowitzki a little bit less than Hanley Ramirez. But both of them are pretty safe picks. And from there, that is where the talent really starts to drop a little bit. So we got Ian Desmond as our next shortstop on the list. He's projected for 23 home runs, 83 RBIs, probably around 85 maybe, and 24 stolen bases. So the stolen bases and the home run really make him a viable fantasy option. And he's definitely worthy of a top five guy. But then we go to Jose Reyes at number four, a guy I really don't think is too deserving the number four spot. Sure, he's going to get quite a few steals if he can stay healthy. He's going to hit for average if he can stay healthy, and he's going to drive in quite a few runs. Not a lot, though. Hit some home runs. I really wouldn't take Jose Reyes, the fourth overall shortstop. There's definitely some guys down here that have a lot higher payoffs than a Jose Reyes, but Jose Reyes is probably a top 10 guy, not a top 5 guy. Elvis Anders, I would consider Elvis Anders a top, ten, top 5 guy, though. Maybe even top 4, because he is going to drive in a decent amount of runs, They've got Prince Fielder down in Texas now, so that's going to help him out even more. 38 stolen bases, probably going to be 40 this season again. And he doesn't really strike out a ton compared to some other guys. So, Elvis Saunders is definitely a top 5 pick for me. He's probably the number 4, so we're going to go Hanley Ramirez at number 1, Tulo at number 2, Ian Desmond at number 3, Elvis Saunders at number 4. Then, um, Ben Zobrist. Uh, I don't know if I want to put Ben Zobrist in my 5 spot, but the fact that he does play 2nd and short, which are two very thin positions, Probably makes him a number five guy for me. It's, and he can play the outfield too. So Ben Zobers can really play almost anywhere in your rotation, lineup, whatever you want to say. And so that makes him a top five guy. He's going to hit a decent amount of home runs. He's going to steal quite a few bases. He's going to drive in a lot of runs. So Ben Zobers is definitely a guy that you're going to want to probably draft. Then we come down to Starling Castro. This really hurts me, Starling Castro, because I am a Cubs fan. Horrible season last season. Nothing close to what he's done in his career. Expected to hit 285 this year with 13 home runs. Starling Castro actually does have a decent amount of power. So I'd say Starling Castro is probably going to hit 15 home runs. The RBIs are going to be the problem. He's probably going to have only like a 50 RBI season at that because the Cubs really aren't going to get on base a lot. The walks aren't going to get much higher than 30. Stolen bases, he could hit 20 though if he does bring up his average. So Starling Castro is a solid top 10 guy, not a top 5 guy though. Then we go to Gene Segura, who may have just had a lucky rookie year last year. It's a sensational year, as it says down here. Sensational. He hit 12 home runs, he stole 44 bases, and he hit 290. So, he's definitely a top 10 worthy guy, probably maybe even a top 5 worthy guy. Because he, he isn't going to hit these 12 home runs, he's probably going to have 5 to 10 home runs. Because it was kind of like a random power spurt last year. He's not going to have a ton of RBIs because the Brewers don't really have that solid of a lineup. But he is going to steal a lot of bases. 34, I don't think that's going to be true. Probably around 40 to 50 maybe for Gene Segura. He does have some pretty good speed. So Gene Segura is probably a top 5 guy that you can get in the 8th spot. Uh, Everth Cabrera, I'm just going to skip Everth Cabrera because of the whole biogenesis thing. And I really wouldn't even consider drafting Everth Cabrera, but... I know some people are going to wind up drafting Everett Cabrera, so whatever. Then we go to J.J. Hardy. He's projected to be the 10th shortstop taken off the board. This guy, if you look at these stats, he's a solid number 3 for the shortstop position. He 
doesn't strike out a lot. He plays a lot of games. He has quite a few RBIs and a ton of home runs. J.J. Hardy, I remember him in his days in Milwaukee, he was even really powerful. So J.J. Hardy could have a 30 homer season, probably 80 to 90 RBIs. So J.J. Hardy is definitely worthy of a top five pick, probably a top three pick, because this is another guy that should really go up there. He's a sleeper because he's not going very high up in the draft. So J.J. Hardy, keep your eye on J.J. Hardy. Alexei Ramirez, he's too old for me to really consider drafting him. He does have a decent amount of stolen bases. He, the average is starting to fall, though. Home runs, he's not really a home run hitter, so I wouldn't really consider taking him. As Drupal Cabrera, decent. He's going to hit quite a few home runs. He's going to have a decent amount of RBI. He's not really going to hit for much contact at all. But he's going to strike out a lot, but he's a guy that you should consider taking. Then uh, Jed Lowry, we already talked about him in another video. He's definitely a good take because he can play short or second. Jimmy Rollins, probably not going to be too great of a guy. He's getting up there in age. He did play a lot of games last year. I think he played 162 games last year, which is the entire season. So Jimmy Rollins is definitely, you can consider him. But I'd take this guy if I'm down this low. Andrelton Simmons, 17 home runs last season, 17 home run projected for this season. He only hit 248 but he's projected to go up to 273, and he did not strike out a lot last season, which is another good thing. Had a lot of RBIs. Expect the RBIs to definitely have a jump this year, possibly even the power, and if you're looking this late in the draft, Andrelton Simmons is definitely a guy you should target. Now, if you're just looking for a temporary shortstop, uh, Jed Lowry is definitely your man. He goes on hot streaks. Jimmy Rollins, maybe, could be your guy. Um, this whole page of guys over here really isn't anything too special except for with the exception of maybe Zach Cozart because Cozart's a guy that's really gonna do quite a bit for you for the value that he is he is the 20th pick Alcides Escobar is another guy who's gonna steal a lot of bases for you and this low down that's pretty valuable Brad Miller decent amount of home runs Jeter's not really gonna do much Escobar not much for call I wouldn't trust him at all uh, Jose Iglesias not the best for fantasy Brennan Crawford is going to be decent, but if you're really looking for um, just the guy to take a temporary spot, pick one of those guys that I had lower down over there, and then take a Javier Baez, because Javier Baez should be up this season. He's an eligible shortstop. He's probably going to play somewhere else on the diamond, so he he's just going to be a great pick for you if you do take Javier Baez. I think you should consider taking Javier Baez as well as some of the other guys. So we'll go with my official top 10 rankings now. We're going to go Hanley Ramirez, Troy Tulowitzki, J.J. Hardy, Ian Desmond, Elvis Anders, uh, Gene Segura, Starlin Castro, Ben Zobrist, um, Andrelton Simmons, Jed Lowry, Osdrubal Cabrera. That's going to be the guys that I really consider drafting and then throw in a Javier Baez down there later in. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you do agree with some of my stuff, please leave a like rating. If you did enjoy, also leave a like rating. And I want to thank you guys for watching this. Subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll see you guys later.